So could you explain again about the work sample, about the solo work, as opposed to, I'm assuming then, a group choreography work? Well, let's do an example. The mentee wants to, you know, really wants to work with this mentor because they feel the mentor is really experienced in integrating text, spoken text, in their dance. And then the mentor sends in a um, work sample where there's no spoken text. So you have to think that the work samples are, you know, a lot of times, and we choose artists who see a lot of work and who are local, because hopefully, you know, we know that work samples don't reveal a lot, so we really hope that most of the panelists will have seen most of the work. But sometimes, you know, that they have gone to see performances and have seen someone working and can, you know, have an opinion based on the actual experience of seeing a live performance, but that's not always the case, and that's, that's why we have work samples. It's a necessary evil of the grant making process. Um, you know, a lot of times the panelists will say, well, you know, you know, that I've seen Michelle's work and that work sample like does not do her justice at all. And the panelists will take that in consideration. They'll put more weight on the person who's actually seen the work live than the work sample. But there's sometimes happens where none of the panelists have seen the work of of um, the mentor, the mentee, and so they have to get whatever information they can about the artistic excellence and the ability of the mentor to provide what they need to the mentee based on the work sample and on the writing. So as I said, if you're a solo choreographer who wants to start doing group compositions and the mentor submits a work sample that's just solo work, gotcha. then okay. the panelists can say, how is this person going to help? Does this person do group work? I don't know. You know, how can this person, you know, well, you know they sent in a solo, you know. I, they have information about what the mentor can do with solos, but the mentee doesn't want to work on solos. Right. So the panel doesn't have the information they need. The work sample addendum is really important. It's really your opportunity to talk to the panel about why, you, what your reasoning for choosing this work sample was. Like I said, if you want to explain something about the style of dance you work in, if there's something you feel like they really need to know about the creation of this piece or where the piece goes at the end. You can explain that in the work sample addendum. It's, it's really a great way to speak to the panel um, about the work sample. Right. If you, and then also mentors, if you choose a work sample that was created more than two years ago, explain why you chose that work sample. Because okay. that also, they ask that. They're like, well, why are they submitting something that was created six years ago and not in the last two years? I know they've been making work in the last two years. So why something six years ago? You can say, well, I chose this old work sample because not only do I feel like it demonstrates my artistic excellence, but I also feel like it demonstrates that I can take my mentee to this place. And that's why I chose something from six years ago versus something more recent. That's, that would be a very important thing, a helpful thing to address.